David Gates, brought to you by the United States Army Reserve, and I'm Allison Steele, the night bird. I used to soak to wash the dirt off my face. I write with pencil so... That's the sound of David Gates, and uh, I dare say there's hardly a prettier voice anywhere. And uh, the package is not too bad either. He's sitting right opposite me, visiting. Welcome, David. Well, it's very nice to be here, Allison. Uh, I just learned an amazing fact about you. I mean, I thought I knew, um, well, not that much, but I mean, I've been a David Gates fan since the days of Bread, if it was the very first album, and I thought I, I knew where you'd been. But now in a conversation with, uh, with our senior engineer here, Bread was not your first trip. No, as a matter of fact, uh, I recorded some for uh, Amy Maller Records in New York when I was... Uh, just still a teenager in high school. Must have been because I mean I took you for being really very young now. I mean, well, I had uh, I'd made my first records in Oklahoma where I grew up, and mm -hmm. uh, there were some small studios there, and a bunch mm -hmm. of us uh, in the band pooled our money, and we did the first record I ever made and sang and wrote was right there, and we pressed 500 copies and sold them out of the back of a station wagon. You know, that's that our right? first taste of the record business. And then as a result of that record, it found its way to New York, and some people became interested in me as an artist, and they signed me and flew me in for some sessions. And uh, so we came to the big city and did some records, and they, did, they didn't really do exceptionally well, but they were well-produced, and they, uh, they were well-received by critics and people of that sort. So, uh, you know, I've been persevering ever since then. And you sure, certainly have. I get the feeling that you, um, that you really haven't had to struggle a great deal, have you, David? No, I think I really have been fortunate in that respect. I struggle at home trying to write my songs, but once they're finished and I kind of get the ball rolling, uh, I've been really fortunate that I haven't had too many unpleasant experiences. We have, too. We have, too. Let's hear more from the David Gates' lovely new album. That's David Gates, and of course the album is called Never Let Her Go, and the tune is in the album. David, it's a, it's, it's a really excellent uh, picture of you uh, on this, and, and I notice the her in the Never Let Her Go is in a little uh, frame. It, it, I would assume that is your wife, isn't it? Mm -hmm, it is. Yeah. After meeting you, I know, I knew instinctively that it would not be a strange girl. It would have to be your wife. And uh, you mentioned that you have two daughters. You're a real family man, aren't you? Yeah, my wife would have thrown me out of the house if I had <laughs> oh, is that funny, used a model in that picture. Isn't it, uh, isn't it kind of difficult to be a normal family man in this business, David? I think you have to work at it. You must be aware that it is, can be a kind of a crazy business. And mm. uh, you have to keep your values and things pretty straight uh, when you go in. Mm. Take, it, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't get too much... You know, too much ego involvement in it. Just take it as a job, and then you can kind of keep yourself straight. Mm. It's uh, it's easy to say um, for someone like you. You don't appear to have an attitude or an ego, um, but for a lot of people in this business, it seems so difficult to 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 think along those lines. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, one of the things I've always felt that drives people into the entertainment business is that need for applause, and mm -hmm. and uh, while I appreciate it and enjoy it, I kind of come from a little different angle. I like it as a craft. You know, I like to write a good song, and, you know, I enjoy applause as much as the next guy, but I don't need it to exist. You know, I can... Mm, if get I get a... two or three people come up and say, hey, that's a great song, you know, well, that's, that's a satisfaction. Terrific. David, I'm going to take a moment, with your permission, for a word from Army Reserve. Your local Army Reserve unit offers you training in 300 career skills, from electronics and communications to medicine and finance. The exact number of career skills depends on the requirements of your local unit, of course. Now, this might be the start of a whole new career for you, or a second, just-in-case career, or a way to move up in the job you have now. In return for this, you'll have a minimum of four months of active duty training, and then you'll attend four four-hour meetings a month and spend two weeks each summer with the reserve. Oh, you'll be paid, and paid well. Steady extra income that you can count on. If it sounds like a pretty fair exchange to you, then get things started in your local reserve unit. That's the Army Reserve, and it pays to go to meetings. It pays, it pays, it pays to go to meetings. It pays, it pays, it pays to go to meetings. It pays. 
This is the night bird, Allison Steele, for the United States Army Reserve, and our guest today, David Gates. David Gates from his current album, Never Let Her Go, and uh, a really pretty cover, a lovely uh, portrait of David. I get the feeling from the cover of this album, David, your left hand is very prominent, and I get the feeling there's a very explicit message here. I'm left-handed now. No, that you're married. <laughs> that was my message. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it is. Was that uh, just coincidence or it's coincidence. subconscious? I wasn't uh, really trying to be pushy one way or the other but mm -hmm. you know there's in the old days they used to say hey you know you you can't be married and you know be a, an idol or something and I, I think it's nonsense you know i want to be accepted for the music and you know whether or not you're married i don't think really matters as to whether or not a product is good I, it, it never has you know but i do think the times have changed i think just as many uh, fans idolize married whole families with you know including sure. the children so sure. and i think it is based on talent and and their emotional reaction to what you do and that certainly is a forte of yours most of the songs you write are are very tender and very introspective how many songs have you written all together now i've really lost track but quite a uh, few several hundred i'm sure uh it's i, I just have lost track oh. i don't even know if i could what a marvelous <laughs> talent were you always good at it well, in the beginning, some of those songs were pretty poor, I'll mm. tell you. you. You have to start someplace. I go back once in a while and listen to some of the early things. And That's uh, how you keep your equilibrium, right? Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> you really managed to cross the line. I, I, I'm always amazed to see how many what we call middle-of-the-road artists have, have uh, recorded songs that you did mm -hmm. with Brad, for instance. You know, um, Of all the songs you've ever written that have become hits, that you made hits, what, uh, which one are you most proud of? I think probably if, yeah. uh, because so many people have like taken the song to their heart, so yeah. to speak, and I so many people so. have recorded it and do it in, in uh, nightclubs and things. It's it's a it's a philosophy, not just a song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I'm, Is I'm it really, really your philosophy? I believe in it. It's a great song. I love it. I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna take a moment here for a word from Army Reserve Day. <laughs> David Gates, and, and uh, I, I would be hard put to say which of, uh, of your things is my first love. Um, which of the songs you've written do you think um, uh, another artist has done the best, done the most justice to? I imagine it must be difficult as a songwriter to see the varied interpretations that artists can present. It's pretty hard to pin it down to one specific. Mm. There's been uh, a number of artists have done a good job on my things, and... Uh, no one performance stands out. I've heard a number of different people do if, and some do better than others, but, uh, and I've heard a lot of the songs, Baby, I'm Want You, Make It With You, mm -hmm. and Clouds, and some of those. And it's, uh, it's a great pleasure when they do it, and, uh, because, you know, I get satisfaction from it. Hey, they're doing my song. Oh, and sure. And, you, and, and besides, it's kind of an annuity for your family. You have two daughters, and, and, uh, a writer can be sure, long after he's ceased to produce, that he's still... Mm -hmm will remain solvent, at least. It you know. really hit home to me once I was in a club in New Orleans and just sitting there and nobody knew who I was and the band would start to play It Don't Matter to Me. Mm. I looked around and about half the people were singing along. They knew the lyrics. Oh, what a marvelous feeling. Isn't and uh, it? I figured, well, I've done something right. <laughs> yeah, you made, you made a lot of people happy, David, I'll say that. Where's your headquarters now? Where do you live? I live in Los Angeles in the West San Fernando Valley area. Must be pretty. It really is nice. How much time do you spend on the road in the course of a year? Well, not too much. I don't like to be gone more than 40 or 50 days a year because it cuts into my writing time. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the albums, it takes quite a while to get those together. And there's mm -hmm. a lot to do. And if you're gone, you just can't. Mm -hmm. And everything starts with your uh, recorded product. Sure. So if you're out touring, sometimes you don't have time to do a good job on your recording. Mm -hmm. I want to take a moment here for a, a message from Army Reserve, David. Get it together, together. Not alone. Get it together, together. Till you're on your own. Don't you know it's day to go to meet the time. For the good things you deserve. Don't you 
Army Reserve, it pays in a lot of ways. You're paid for every meeting and each two-week summer camp you attend. Extra money you can use in a lot of ways. And you get the chance to further your present skills or learn new ones. A chance that can really pay off in your civilian career. It pays, it pays, it pays to go to meetings. Here's David Gates with Clouds. See the clouds that drift so far below Until it's time to go David Gates David, uh, just another quick question about touring. When you do tour, w what kind of places do you play? I mean, I know you play, um, like, the bottom line here in New York. Well, the, the best places, uh, if you possibly can get them, are the uh, medium-sized halls with really good acoustics, mm. usually where there's an orchestra plays, mm. uh, because then they've been built with acoustics in mind. And these usually seat two to 3,000 seats, and, and they're all good seats, and you can see well, and you can hear well. There's an intimacy. Mm. That's what I prefer. Yeah. David, really nice to meet you, and I don't have to wish you luck on your album. I mean, everybody loves it, as they do with all of your product. Thank you. Just keep it it's coming. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you so much. David Gates. And this is the Nightbird, Allison Steele, reminding you that it pays to go to meetings in the Army Reserve. 